two acting legends are teaming up for the first time in a new quirky romance on the big screen. Blythe Danner and John Lithgow both have Emmys and Tonys crowding their mantles. And now the power couple are starring in the new movie, The Tomorrow Man. You're like Chinese? We don't have to do Chinese. Ed Hemsler, a woman doesn't like to be left in the dark. When a gentleman takes her out, the least he could do is contact her in some way and let her know that he had fond memories of their evening together. Even if he didn't, because that's what gentlemen do. But I am a gentleman. <laughs> Blythe Danner, John Lithgow, good morning. It's so nice to have you here. <laughs> I would think so. No, no, there's none, none of this about it. He's right. definitely a gentleman. <laughs> well, I definitely noticed that. But I, first of all, am shocked that this is the first time you guys have worked together because the chemistry is so palpable. Well, Ooh. we're both from the same gene pool of <laughs> 1970s theater actors. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we have hundreds of mutual friends and sort of common experiences together without ever having worked. We don't, didn't even really know each other all that well, except the minute we hit the set, we never stopped talking. <laughs> the same stories. The only negative thing was that we had the exact same stories, but different versions. It's like right. whisper down That's the right. lane or what do they call it now? Yeah. <laughs> Telephone. <laughs> oh, you heard that? And all Smart. these all these crew people half our age, they would watch us like some sort of <laughs> like they were watching Stiller and Mira or something. We just entertained they them need all the popcorn day. and they just That's want to listen to you two nine chat nine. with each other. This nine movie nine. is a, it's like a quirky nine. romance nine. and nine. it makes me love you both even more. Your characters are odd and quirky. What drew you to your character, Ed? Well, it was a captivating script. Uh, uh, I just read the script, and every 20 pages, there was some completely unexpected surprise <laughs> in the storytelling. You, you know, it's a boy meets girl romance between two <laughs> septuagenarians mm -hmm. who, and it is sweet and funny, but it's it's got a all sorts of different colors, melancholy and dread, and they're old. Mm -hmm. To me, it was a story that just never gets told. Right. And Blythe, your yeah. character, we don't really find out her secret in, until oh, so towards the end of the yes. movie. But what drew you to her oh. character? Them. And in he, my he, case, he her. Drew me because <laughs> I thought, good God, all these decades, and I, I would see John and go, oh, how I'd love to work with him. So mm -hmm. when that, when this was mentioned, I just, I leapt. It was almost as if I didn't have to read it. Although when I did, I thought, oh, this is a challenge too, because I love to play people I've never what, played what before, kind of and I hadn't played it quite like this. Right. One There's thing I, I loved watching know. this movie is I've, I've seen both my Nothing. parents go into the dating world, try to find ah. companions, and they've both managed to find companionship, you know, oh. at, an, at an older age. Does, I, I've read that Gwyneth actually wanted to get you onto the dating sites oh, and Lord. all that sort of stuff. Yeah. How, how did that I, I, I would say <laughs> uh, usually a lovely, lovely uh, gentleman, a couple, but I just thought, oh, I'd rather be home watching television. Isn't that awful? Really? But um, <laughs> because, well, Bruce was a character and he was mm -hmm. constantly laughing all the time. So it's, she said, you can't expect to find daddy again. I'm very happy. I've got my little grandchildren around the corner mm -hmm. both on both coasts. I have my two sets. Mm -hmm. So I'm content. Yeah. John, you are so, so busy. And I feel like the characters you've played lately, I mean, larger than life characters. You've got Bill Clinton, Roger Ailes, Winston Churchill, yes. and then you have Ed. No one mm -hmm. Was it fun to kind of take a break from the, the big, big characters and, and just go into Ed mode? It was wonderful to sort of go minimalist, a sort of Ordinary man with yeah, extraordinary you like uh, issues. I'm what I know. Uh, and and no makeup. You know, mm -hmm. I just it was basically <laughs> me. Sadly, in many ways, it was like a play brought to life. All those things appealed to me. Yeah. 
Well, thank you both so much for being here, and congratulations on your honorary doctorate. Yes, uh, sitting next to my favorite congressman, John Lewis. We had some wonderful. wonderful talks. What is this? This Who? was too late, and I've got my How fourth wonderful. doctorate. I That's have amazing. no idea. I certainly didn't deserve them. But I, and you got to go to I'm, the Big Easy. I'm one of the, one of the, you know, the running out of old ladies, mm -hmm. old actresses. <laughs> to give to so you've been Dr. Danner for a while. A little right? bit. Yeah. But it was thrilling. Well, congratulations. Yeah. And the movie is fantastic. The Tomorrow Man is in select theaters now.